so we've been here before and we thought we'd share with all of our YouTube uh, subscribers as well as our, uh, all of our friends on the Cheap Club and clients uh, the benefits of highly oxygenated water. Anyway, it's such an amazing feeling. It's been known to cure things like pancreatic cancer. It helps with all types of inflammations, inflammation like the lupus and Lyme. But we're going to be talking to the owner here in a little bit after we get done with our 50 minutes soak. She's filling up our baths right now and we're going to kick back soak 50 minutes of your own private little room. You know, you can bring ear pods, kick back and listen to meditation music. Uh, whatever or nothing at all, just sit there and contemplate life. So check us out in about 50 minutes. Okay, so as you see, my bath is ready to go. I'm gonna be coming out, feeling and looking hot, dynamite, out of sight, and silky smooth. Well, that was an amazing soak. I, I drifted away, and I think I released all kinds of toxins inside my body as well, too. So we're gonna get ready to talk to Matthew here. <laughs> and, uh, hear about some more of the health benefits. Yeah, my bath, once again, was amazing. I totally drifted away. I think I started snoring, as a matter of fact. He Reese did. was in the next room saying I saw any logs. But anyways, I feel great. I had a workout uh, this, this afternoon and over this weekend that was pretty intense. I was kind of sore. Uh, so my joints were kind of sore, and now I have no soreness whatsoever. So I'm here with Matthew to tell us a little bit more about what are some of the benefits. How did you come across uh, this amazing Okay, business? well the reason you're not sore anymore is the lactic acid that was in your muscles from the workout got alkalized. Uh, so, okay. and repeated baths neutralize your whole system like that. Okay. So alkalinity is just one of the great side effects. Yeah, yeah, no, because I feel, God, my cells just feel alive. now. Sometimes do people get tired after a bath out of Oh yeah, I usually do. It definitely, it's a unique feeling of uh, being energized and relaxed all at the same time. A lot of people will make an analogy to like a yoga class or a workout or a run where you put a lot out but you feel good and you know, but it's sitting in a bath instead of running, so. <laughs> yeah. Get those endorphins kicking. Yeah. yeah, who would know that, who would have thought that uh, by taking a bath like that, you do that. Too. Oh yeah, just really getting all your cells moving, you know. They're not used to having everything they need like that, so it's like throwing gas on the fire. And, you know, here you are. the ATP starts cranking, everything on a cellular level just starts working better. That's mm. beautiful. So how did you get started with all this? You know, I was trying to do a lot less in my life and a doctor friend of mine started teasing me about how's the retired life old man and she's like oh. 20 years older than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I started, you know, I was like, well, I miss being helpful and you know, and she started throwing these ideas out to me. Um, in this stack of ideas was this water technology. She met these doctors at the best answer for cancer. Um, and she is actually a resident specialist. So the fact that she kind of tuned into it made me tune into it a little more because that's sort of her specialty. So yes, yeah, it sort of started there. I'm like, oh great, I want to meet these guys. When are they coming to California? She's like, ha ha ha, they're not, but I'm going to be in Seoul, South Korea with them next month if you want to meet them. And the adventure began there. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. You know, as a Qigong practitioner and a practitioner of uh, classical Chinese medicine, you know, we're always looking for things for ultimate health. Sure. And I think it's a balance. It's always a balance. You know, we it's not just about practicing the Qigong or making sure you're hydrated, but sleep is also um, techniques and modalities like what you have to offer to people. Sure. That's that, health, that's life, that's training, that's everything. You have to come from every angle if you want it to be as strong as it can. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and uh, some of the other ways, you know, natural ways that we normally would say for people to increase the oxygen count inside their blood would be to take or eat things like beets, and, uh, um, you know, nitric oxide or chlorophyll or whatever. But this is, which is something that I do, but this is something to a totally oh, different level. Like, yeah. like the buzz that I'm feeling right now is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, a doctor, I actually, because I take a bath almost every day. Uh -huh. And usually our clients who have serious illnesses do two weeks on, 10 days off, two weeks on okay. in cycles like that to allow okay. inflammation to go down and kind of catch back up a little. Um, I never take 10 days or two weeks off. Uh -huh. So, you know, meanwhile, a couple of years later, I asked one of the doctors in Hungary, you know, what, what do you, is there any downside to me taking a bath every day? And after thinking about it for a minute, he's like, the only, you know, your hemoglobin might get lazy. Because oh. <laughs> it doesn't have to do anything, you know, like you're just, you're, your oxygen's there every day, so your hemoglobin's like, sweet, you know, we don't have to do a whole lot of work over here, even though we're breathing LA air. <laughs> so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, so... Well, I have a question. How do you make the water so silky smooth? 
It's a process of electrolysis. Uh -huh. So it's not actually water anymore. Water is an H2O molecule. Uh -huh. This is a myriad of hydroxylated molecules, some stable, some unstable, all different ratios of hydrogen and oxygen. Mm. So it's like, you know, think of water as like one key and you're a million locks. Well, mm -hmm. it can only do so much and open so many doorways. If you can send a million locks at a million, there are a million keys at a million locks because they're all cut a little different. Right? Mm -hmm. Then you start getting every, that's why all your cells get hit with this. It's not just your skin, it's interstitial fluids, connective tissue, everything oh, gets yeah, activated on a cellular level. Uh, if you're in the downtown Los Angeles area, I highly recommend coming in and checking out uh, this facility here. We've known for over 100 years cancer and oxygen are arch enemies. Uh, mm. Cancer cannot live in a highly oxygenated state. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So if you can create a highly oxygenated state in your cellular terrain, there you go. Magic happens. Magic happens. So, All right. So magic just happened today. Magic yeah. happened today. <laughs> so anyways, once again, thank you so much. My pleasure. Listen, this Absolutely. Is awesome. Thanks for coming awesome. and checking us out. So I highly suggest if you're in the Los Angeles area, please just come down and check this out. If you're somebody that subscribes to the Cheat Club, to our YouTube channel, if you're somebody who has any type of inflammatory diseases and or cancer, I would highly recommend coming down to Los Angeles, staying here for a couple weeks, following the uh, protocol that Matthew has uh, recommended. And please click on the link below, subscribe, share this, schedule an appointment for your bath and how to live the best life that you could possibly be. So this is Chris Shelton signing off from a beautiful day in Los Angeles, California, the heart of Hollywood. Until next time, I will cheat you later.